Hello and welcome, Neil is here from Tykes TV. <clears throat> what a performance, what a result. I think I can say, uh, not buckling. Staying with we ain't game. Uh, and taking game in, in some parts to Ipswich as well. We're going to have a, a match after match thoughts, uh, together with the player ratings as well. I thought going, you know, I was surprised in my predictions. I did highlight in certain areas. I thought Jordan Elliwell or Jordan Williams, I thought it's my Williams. Unfortunate that Jordan Elliwell picked up a, a, a you know, don't know what it was like, some kind of injury after about 14, 15 minutes. So again, uh, unfortunate for him, uh, trying to get a, a run of games in. Uh, again, though, two, two players, again, on score sheet, Callum Styles and Jackie Aitchison. Fair to say that I think both, you know, wanted the goals and deserve the goals for confidence building, for the performances. Jack Aitchison has been via or via Bart's previous. We, uh, Callum, again, a bit hit and miss with his match performances, but all being well now, we, we've seen some kind of, what can I say, togetherness, happiness within, within the player. It's been frustrating. I think we all it's all been well documented that last week of transfer window, where's he going to be going, where's his mindset at, Again, so we'll get on to player player ratings and we'll 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 go through it and uh, we'll see we what we think. So yeah, player ratings against this rich town at Portman Road. Brad Collins. Moses it there really looked assured. Some key saves did keep us in game, especially in latter stages in second half against Ipswich. Keeping calm when required, and for me, man at match. There were a few other players up there or thereabouts. But Brad, he looked more assured. I think he he was in command. Yeah, we conceded two goals against Sipswich, but when you look at it, no faults are his own. And he was, you know, this save is quite a few times as well. With some of the saves where he were pulling off. So for me, Brad Collins, man at match, 8.5. Again, unfortunate for Jordan Elliwell. I can't really give him a rating for what short time he really on pitch. Did look okay, to be fair, when he first set off, but unfortunate early injury. Clark had all came in, which was a surprise, to be fair. I thought he might have brought on <clears throat> Cundy or McCarthy. I thought back three and put Jordan Williams back to his favoured right wing back position, but he didn't. I brought on Clark Adua, which I was surprised. Again, Clark do a bit frustrating commitment with the year. He was willing and showing, but uh, again, sometimes his ball retention, his work at ball, seems to be too easy. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give uh, Clark do a 6.3. I mean, it's not necessarily, you know, on his overall aspect of things, but, you know, he, he was trying, he was committing in certain tackles and that, but. At other respects, when he was pushing forward, it was leaving it open in, in that position at back. But yeah, I mean, played in that position. I wasn't expecting that. I did, I did not see him coming coming at that. Mads Anderson again, previous to other games, since be all over at back, having a to cover, pick up, getting involved in set pieces and stuff. And it was like a captain's performance. He seemed to be organising it. An organised uh, performance at back against uh, let's let's face it a, a decent Ipswich Town side went up at top of the league for an out. So again, going two goals down. Uh, sorry, yeah, well we have been going two goals down, but coming back uh, twice shows you the leadership of the character of players and all the players to be fair on, on pitch. John Williams. It reminded me a bit uh, before he picked up injury actually last season when he was starting to come because he went into back three and it looked pretty decent. Uh, stuck to his task with tackles, he was getting stuck in again. He was covering in right wing back position when Clark were going forward, but he also in sent he tried pushing forward and he went on a decent run as well. You know, he tried pushing forward. So for me, 
I mean, you might agree, disagree on this, but I've given him 7.5. You might say it were a bit higher or a bit lower, but get involved. Let me know your thoughts. But Jordan Williams, I thought he had a, a pretty decent performance in back three. Kitchen. Again, trying to bring the ball out. Isolated at times when Styles won't track him back, but I think with Styles, we'll get on to Styles in a minute. Styles are trying to link up further advance forward. Our position to cover, but for me, it was one of them where if Styles going to be pushing on, I mean, he covered it back, and that's when it all came back to light, such as Anderson and stuff like that, where it was like an organised, you sent to know the roles, what to be expected. Sometimes you've got like uh, Luke Connell coming back as well in that position, just dropping back uh, just to like cover where Styles uh, pushing forward. Because that's one thing I did notice with uh, Styles, he was pushing more advanced forward as well up pitch. So for me, Kitchen, 7.1. Getting on to Styles. I think his work rate was a big difference, a big, big, te a big telling point. Goal, I'm hoping it boosts his confidence. And like we've just been highlighting there, uh, trying to get in areas uh, for other options. I noticed they were trying to run, you know, either down left wing or cutting in, in inside. So for me, he was were, he were willing, he was trying, he was were, he were pushing. But at times, it was about tracking back. But, you know, you give one and you take out other kind of thing, don't you? You can't have best of all things because you want him as a goal threat, but also you want someone to cover at back. So I think if it's organised and done right at back and people know the roles, no one's going to drop into that position like a local Connell, like I just mentioned earlier, then it, it, it can work. Bearing in mind it were a you know decent Ipswich uh, side, uh, an improved performance. So 7.7 .7 for Callum. Just hoping he can uh, build on that and keep it a steady progression. So for me, I've more or less covered like back three plus the two win backs. I think a surprise for me was John Nelly well starting, unfortunately, with a Pittsburgh injury. And if I'm being honest, I'd have thought. It had brought on either Cundy or McCarthy and put Williams to right wing back. We didn't. He kept it as it was. And, you know, we come out with a point. So, fair play. Another one who picked up an injury as well, Benson. He said to be covering midfield area, pretty decent. Um, injury picked up. And for me, we're having a solid game. We we're trying to marshal it. We we're trying to get involved in certain certain aspects of the game, not just off at ball, on the ball, but off at ball as well. So an unfortunate injury. I don't know if it's like a, a pull muscle or I don't like that. I'm hoping it's just a little niggle. It's not too too serious. We all know what's going to be coming up in the next uh, league game. Matty Wolf came on. Give Matty a 6.5. It might have been a, a bit more. I don't know. Your guys get involved and let me know what you think. But I think when Matty Wolf came on, again, I know that Michael Duffel want, wanting certain players to show the intensity and the the body language to be different as well, the, the, the mindset, which I think Matty Wolf was. He was getting involved. He was doing some, let's kind of say, some some fouls, but what it had been pleasing to the eye, if you know what I mean, where it was to disrupt the, the Ipswich way of play, but in an area where it won't, won't difficult, where it won't hurt in us, i.e. like it's centre circle. So again, Certain things like that, I can see improving in team. I can see, the, you know, how we're managing a game as well. And that's got to be down to such as Duff and his, his, co his, you know, his set-up coaches, what are instilling that. And getting the back set-up coaches as well, set-pieces. I can see that being, get, and we'll come on to this in a minute, with you look at Connell. Thomas, again, 6.9 for, uh, for, for Luke Thomas. Trying to get things going in midfield, and at times they needed support. And what I mean, they needed support is if Luke O'Connell were dropping back, covering in left wing position or covering air over areas. Sometimes it seems a bit slow in certain stages of his play. He never gave up though his work rate, and like I said, none of the players never gave up. They run sends into ground, and it were an hard earned point. And for me, it was deserved point, just basically just because of the work rate and the effort they put in. So for me, I think Luke Thomas, 6.9. He had a hard midweek game as well. So again, taking its toll, that might be one of the reasons why. 
Luke O'Connell. I thought the Wiccan game, I thought he had a pretty by his own standards, I think he'd, he'd have made uh, an, off, an off game. Didn't really click for him. But I think 8 0. Uh, eight zero. Yeah, uh, uh, rating right. Seems to be busy all over the pitch. Corner that led to Styles' goal. And again, the set pieces as well. There seems to be a, a bit of an understanding, a bit of. You know, togetherness and in, in in the understanding that players are always going to be taking set pieces where where it's going to be going. And as my friend did always say, if you put it on a penalty spot, and it did from corner, and it was a great alley by Styles. Tried to get uh, others going in the final third as well. What I saw of Luke Connell when he was driving forward, he was essentially all about pitch at times, dropping back, getting ball and covering in certain areas, trying to drive it forward at momentum. Again, a bit of gamesmanship where, you know, time and stuff like that is of the essence. Morton's on his own as a few players. And it's pleasing to see your eye that they, not to be going full gun on, but we, you know, we doing what we're supposed to do. So, you know, do, running the clock down, what others have done. So, again, it's gained the now some knowledge on what this league is about. A point to Ipswich, why not? We'll move on from there. So, yeah. Uh, Luke Connell, eight. Dante Cole, 6.7. He had a few chances, holding the ball up. I mean, he was he were running, he was trying to hold the ball up. Trying to link up with others, trying to fetch others into play. And again, I think with Styles, trying with Aitchison as well. Didn't get Robert Green, you know, didn't you know? Didn't ever run at ball. But again, he's running and he's awkward for defence. Getting free kicks, getting pulled up, you know, stoppages and stuff like that. But again, it's one of the performances we have managed to be looking at and say, yeah, you've really sent in, you know, you've done a job, you've really sent into the ground and you've done it. Slab and Tedic called it out from the Leeds game when we did the predictions and all that. Is that I'd like to see Slab and Tedic more involved in first team and he's been on bench. Looks like Leir Zach is going to be going. So. Obviously, we need firepower. When he came on, what a short space time he had. I'm going to give him a six. What a short space of time he did. He did what he had to do. Like what manager wants him to do. Run, press, close, push and about, be awkward. Does exactly what it says on tin, doesn't it? You know what I mean? It's, it's a no-brainer. But for me, Slavon Tedic, looking like he might be more involved in a, you know, more... The first team affairs and development, but it's still work in progress. But again, another option we have at bench. Jack Edison, I've been one of his critics on not his work rate. I mean, his work rate is always there, but sometimes it's been his final decision making or not being the right place or having a pop at goal. And for me, it's 7.7 .7 for Jack Edison. I thought he had a, a good game. I thought he closed down a work rate yet again. Can't knock it. I, I honestly can't knock that. First goal, and it was a well-taken goal and all. Um, highly deserved. You could see joy and pleasure on his face. And again, he never gave up. Lad will run and run and run and close down and close down. So for me, 7.7. .7. When Norwood came on, I'll give him 5.8. When Norwood come on, I don't really see goal threat in Norwood. I really don't. Uh, got a silly booking for a alleged dive. Which were just outside box, you know, danger area at that time in game, second half. Someone that kind of person, you just want your laces through it and clear it. Again, I can I see Norwood as a player who comes on and upsets and puts in a bat and makes the opposition defence un, uneasy. But as a goal threat, I don't see Norwood as a genuine goal threat at this moment in time. At this moment in time, I don't see you Norwood know, as a genuine goal threat. But yeah, for me, H is 7.7. .7. And, you know, coming away from a point from Ipswich Town, I said, it, you know, my prediction were a 1-1. One, one, a few people have said, oh, we're going to lose 2-0. Two, two Someone said 2-2. Two, two. So, so I love it. It's going to be two former bounds of players that's going to score against us, Chaplin and Morrissey. But, at the end of the day, we never gave up. You know, 
when you when you've been come against Wickham, we conceded one goal there at Wickham at home, and body language, the demeanour all sent to just drain and go. We had a tough away fixture in Carabao Cup with Leeds, and again we still took it to them. Now we've come to Ipswich away, and yeah, we've gone one note down, but we in minutes we've come back. It's one one. We've gone two one down, but we never gave up. It's two two. Yeah, Brad Collins pulled off some great saves, but when you look at in the second half as well, Clark could do her when yeah, Clark could do her. Uh, it's side netting, thought it were in, and you know, and but again, it's gaining them positions, gaining the danger positions, which we haven't been, or if we have been, we haven't been taking his chances or having a go, we've been trying to overplay it. But slowly, slight improvements. Going to be an interesting week for obvious reasons for players coming and going, uh, coming and going. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate everybody uh, what's been journey. Please like, subscribe, and share. Have your say. If you're town, have your say. Comments below. Have you? You know, how did you rate Bounds's performance against Ipswich? How, you know, who were your man at match? Is there any positives what you can take on from the I think there'll be a, quite a few positives what you can take from this game. Yeah, we've got an, uh, a cup game against Lincoln in uh, Tuesday. But then we move on to Sheffield Wednesday, Hillsborough, where they a great win. So, yeah, we move on. See what happens with uh, injuries, what's been picked up. Plus, take into account the transfer uh, window what closes as well this week so yeah thanks for watching one thing left to say you read